What's good YouTube, MLB Updates 365 here back with another video. Before we get into it, I just want to say I hope everyone had a good, safe, and happy 4th of July weekend. But we're back talking about the trade deadline once again. And we're going to be discussing players that we think should be traded. We don't know if they will be, but with the teams that they're on and the positions that they are in, I think they should be traded at the deadline. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. <laughs> So first up, we have Joey Gallo, the Texas Rangers, who are currently in last place in the AL West division. At 27 years old, he could be a long-term piece moving forward, but I think it's in their best interest to trade him right now. Over the month of June, he slashed 284, 447, 695, and had seven homers in his last seven games. He has two years of control left and can play multiple positions. Texas could sell high, improve the farm system as well. Up next, we have Aradis Chapman. The Yankees are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, one game over 500, and each day it looks like the team should sell, not buy, at this year's trade deadline. If the Yankees do decide to sell, Aradis Chapman should be made available. Despite his recent struggles, 10 runs in his last three innings, he has tons of success in the regular and postseason. There's also a lot of contending teams or possible playoff teams looking for major bullpen help. The Giants, Phillies, and Astros all could be interested if Chapman is made available. Sticking with the relievers here, up next we have Craig Kimbrell. The Cubs are 42-42 and 42 entering today. They've lost nine straight ball games. They say they aren't going to sell, but they should sell, and they should make Craig Kimbrell available. He's a free agent at the end of the year and has been dominant, posting a 0.59 ERA, converting 20 out of 22 save opportunities. It's a long shot, but the Braves are 40-42, and 42, have one of the worst bullpens in baseball. Imagine a reunion between these two. Moving on over to the AL Central, up next we have Danny Duffy of the Royals, who spent his entire 11 year career in Kansas City. He's the longest tenured player there, but trading him right now makes sense. He's a free agent after the season and he's been very good in 2021. 2.60 ERA and 11 starts. I could see the Boston Red Sox as a potential landing spot for him. Staying in the AL Central Division, Josh Donaldson of the Minnesota Twins is another player that I think should be traded at the deadline if the Twins are able to do so. Trading Donaldson might be hard as he is owed $52 million over the next two and a half seasons and I can't really think of a team that's in the market for a third baseman. He's still a good offensive player. The Twins are in last place in the AL Central. If they could eat up some of his contract and get that deal off their future payroll, I think that would be a success for them. Next up, we have Kyle Gibson of the Texas Rangers. The starting pitching market is very thin at this year's trading deadline. The Rangers should sell high on him as he is 6-0 with a 1.98 ERA on the year. The Rangers aren't going to win anything with or without him there. Gibson is only owed $8 million next season, which is very cheap. And by trading him, they continue to improve the farm system that is very bad. Last but not least, we have Ricardo Rodriguez of the Pittsburgh Pirates, who I believe is the most likely person on this list to get traded at this year's trade deadline. The Pirates aren't competing anytime soon, and as of now, Rodriguez is by far the best option available in the relief pitching market. I could see a nice return for the Pirates. The Blue Jays, to me, have already reported interest and make a lot of sense. And that is going to wrap up the video. Let us know down below, do you think these guys are going to be traded? And if so, where? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. As always, if you have any other video suggestions, make sure to leave that down below in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, to hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, though. And I'll see you in the next video.